In this lesson, we're going to find the perimeter of polygons on the coordinate plane. Make sure when you are taking notes on this lesson that you have a lot of different colors, that you watch what I do before you start writing everything down. So watch the video, because I'll walk through a lot of the pro examples, and then pause the, video, pause the video and then write everything down. And I also always recommend that you watch these videos more than once, especially if this is the first time that you're seeing it. These topics can be pretty challenging. Uh, and, you, and you need to see it more than one time to really grasp what's happening. All right, let's get started. Okay, so the perimeter on the coordinate plane. You see that we have Pythagorean theorem, the distance formula, and what the perimeter is. So Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And in order to have the Pythagorean theorem, you need to have a right triangle. And we're going to talk about that in a moment. But the reason why we're even talking about the Pythagorean theorem and the right triangle is because when you're finding the perimeter of a shape, you have to measure things. And the, per and the Pythagorean theorem is my favorite way to find the distance or the length of a line. Okay? And the Pythagorean theorem is an alternate alternative to using the distance formula. And the reason why it's a distant, uh, alternative to using the distance formula is because this is what the distance formula looks like. The distance formula says d is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Okay? And you need two points or coordinates to use the distance formula formula. So personally for me Pythagorean theorem is quicker and easier and less chance of making a mistake. So let's talk about the definition of a perimeter. A perimeter is the measure around the exterior of a shape. Okay so if you have a triangle it's the measure around the triangle. If you have a square or a rectangle or a parallelogram the measure around the outside of the shape. In order to find the perimeter, you find the distance of each side, then find their sum. Okay, so you're going to find the distance of each side of the shape, and then you're going to add them together. Okay, let's move on to a couple of examples. The first example says find the perimeter of the polygon with the given vertices. And we have D, E, and F. Well, since we have three vertices, that means we have three corners. And three corners means three sides. And three sides means a triangle. So when we're finding the perimeter of a polygon, we are going to do P equals S plus S plus S because we're dealing with sides. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to plot our points. Actually, I'm going to say plot our point of 3, 1 for D. Then I'm going to plot negative 2, 1 for E. And I'm going to plot 1, 5 for F. Once I've plotted those points, Draw my triangle. Now, we need to find the length of the sides. And I'm going to start with the easiest side, which is DE, or ED, depending on how you write it. And the why, reason why I started, because it's a flat line and it's very easy to find the measurement. The measurement of this is five units. So for DE, I'm going to write five units and be done. That's one of the lengths of our sides. The second length that we're going to look at is EF. Now, EF is over here, and it is at, at an angle, so we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. But we need a right triangle, so I'm going to make a right triangle. Here's my vertical line, and that is four units. And then my horizontal line is three units, and I have my right triangle. So my A is going to be four squared, and my B is going to be three. So four squared plus three squared equals C squared. And then we're going to simplify this, or solve for C. So we get 16 plus 9 equals C squared. Then we're going to simplify that to say 25 equals C squared. Now if we know that C squared equals 25, how can we find C? Well, the way you do it is you square root both sides. And when you square root something squared, they cancel out, and you're left with C equals, and the square root of 25 is 5. So EF 
the measurement is 5. So now I have two sides, and I'm going to find the measurement of the third side, DF. And I'm going to do it the exact same way again. So DF, I need A squared plus B squared equals C squared. I need to make my right triangle. So my vertical line is four units, same as the last one. My horizontal line in this case is two units. So for my Pythagorean theorem, it's going to be four squared plus two squared equals C squared. A little bit different than EF, but we're going to solve it the exact same way. So the next line would say 16 plus 4 equals C squared. The next line says 20 equals C squared. And then again, we're going to square root both sides, cancel off, and you get C is equal to 4.47. So DF is 4.47. Now I have my three sides, and I just have to substitute those values back into our formula. So I go back up top, and I go P is equal to 5 plus 5 plus 4.47, and the perimeter of this triangle is 14.47. And that is your answer, and that's how you find the perimeter of a polygon when you're given vertices. Okay, if you have not, pause the computer now and copy this down. Again, use as much color as possible. I think it makes it a lot easier to follow and understand. Okay, let's move on to our second example. In example two, it says find the perimeter of a rectangle with the given vertices. So perimeter of a rectangle, rectangle has four sides. So the theorem that we're going to use is side plus side plus side plus side, or the formula, not theorem. And let's get started again. We have A at negative 3, 1. We have B at 3, 3. We have C at 4, 0. And we have D at negative 2, negative 2. I'm going to connect my vertices and make my rectangle, and then we're going to solve for AB. Now, I know as you're looking at this, it doesn't look like those are 90 degree angles, um, and that's just because the coordinate plane is off a little bit. They're not perfect squares, okay? If they were perfect squares, you would see something that looks more rectangular or 90 degree angles. So let's get started with our AB. Okay, we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem again, because I like doing that for distance. I need to make my right triangle, so I'm going to go up two units, and I'm going to go over six units. So I'm going to take those values for my legs and substitute them into the Pythagorean theorem. And then the next line is going to get 4 plus 36 equals c squared, 40 is equal to c squared, and then we square root both sides, and you square root of something squared, they cancel out. And then you get C is equal to 6.32. And that is the length of AB. The next side that we are going to find the length of is BC. So again, Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. I like writing it down every single time because that focuses me on what I'm going to do, use for that particular problem. We need to make our triangle. We have one unit there. We have three units here. So we have one squared plus three squared equals c squared. We're going to simplify the left side, and you get one plus nine equals c squared. That means 10 equals c squared. Then we're going to simplify or square root both sides. The square root of something squared cancels out, and you get c is equal to 3.16. So now bc is equal to 3.16. So we have found the length of two sides of the rectangle. And the great thing about rectangles, specifically, is that opposite sides are congruent. So we know that AB is congruent to CD. We also, and so if we know that AB is congruent to CD, then we can say that CD is equal to 6.32. So now we have our third side. And to find our fourth side of AD, we know that BC is congruent to AD or DA or AD, either way. So DA is going to equal 3.16. And we have found all four of our sides. So we're going to take these four values and substitute it back into the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle and go P is equal to 6.32 plus 6.32 plus 3.16 plus 3.16. And then, when we add them together, 
you get the perimeter is equal to 18.96 units. And we have found the perimeter of that rectangle. Okay, again, take a minute, pause, and write this information down. But I think you're, I hope you're starting to see that we're just doing a few operations over and over. And once you understand that these are the operations that you're going to do, these problems really go by very quickly. Okay, the next slide that we're going to come to, it says find the perimeter of a given isosceles triangle with the following vertices, A, B, and C. And what I want you to do right now is I want you to do this problem on your own. Remember to write down the formula for this perimeter. I want you to write down uh, the Pythagorean theorem and then plot your points and figure out the lengths of the sides and then find their sum. If you have any questions, uh, watch the video again. And if you have questions again, watch the video a third time. I recommend that you watch the video between five and ten times to really understand what's going on in each example. Okay? Have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow in class.